Welcome. Today I would like to show you how EE Compass Video Studio can benefit your company. This low cost, easy to use, powerful tool can have a significant impact on your organization. Isn't it time to change your HR manual to powerful videos? This method of communication has proven to give better results and allows the HR department to train staff. Today I'll give you a quick overview of what your powerful manual can look like using our template of over 200 slides that we can easily modify or change to meet your needs. The Human Resource Manual is a central reference for all managers, supervisors, and employees, and applies to staff across all locations where a company carries out its work. It promotes the philosophy of the company with regards to standards of excellence, terms of employment, employment development, and employee services. The objective is to employ talented individuals whose creativity and imagination will support and contribute to achieving the company's business objectives. The HR department is responsible for communicating company standards and expectations in all aspects of employment, including performance, value and diversity, and assure equal employment opportunities in a workplace where our relationships are based on mutual respect. Our extensive HR manual has four sections employing of staff, managing performance, dealing with concerns, and supporting staff. This is broken down into 14 different videos. Periodically, some videos, such as Code of Conduct, should be sent out. To get a feel of what your manual can look like, following is a section on Standards of Conduct. The company expects its staff, including temporary, agency, interim, contractor, or consultant staff, to be scrupulously impartial and honest, and the employees are to act as ambassadors for the company. The employee must be ready and willing to work to offer their services personally, take reasonably care in the exercise of that service, not willfully disrupt the company's business, and obey orders. Also work on the company in the company's time, disclose information to the company relevant to the company's business, hold solely for the company the benefit of an invention, respect the company's trade secrets, to be of good faith and do nothing to destroy the trust and confidence, account for all benefits, monetary or in-kind during employment, and indemnify the employer for loss caused by the employee. The standard of contact covers a number of areas. Gifts and hospitality offered by suppliers and potential suppliers of goods and services to the company should be declined. The only exception to this are trivial gifts with a nominal fee of less than $50. Employees having official dealings with contractors and other suppliers of goods or services must avoid transacting any kind of private business with them by any means other than the company's normal commercial channels. The company intends when it is necessary for employees to visit conferences, demonstrations, and similar occasions, the company should bear the traveling and expenses itself. Exceptions to this general rule must be approved by the chief executive officer. Where it is evident that the work of the company will be facilitated, invitations to attend receptions, luncheons may be accepted with the approval of the department manager. Employees should wear or carry their identity bags while carrying out their duties. At all times, confidentiality must be maintained. No information can be released to unauthorized persons or organizations. If in doubt, check with a senior manager. If a personal relationship between two employees develops within the work environment, the onus is on the senior employee concerned to bring this to the attention of his or her manager to confirm that there is no conflict of interest. The company reserves the right to move one of the employees concerned if it does deem it necessary. Outside interests include directorships, ownership, part ownership or material shareholders and other companies businesses or consultancies likely to seek business with the company. These should be declared to the individual's line manager as should the interest of the spouse or partner or close relative. The company has a strict anti-bribery and corruption policy. Employees should at all times conduct themselves in such a way as to enhance the reputation of the company. 
The company will support employees who become aware of and are willing to report breaches of this policy. Let us be your partner in converting your manuals into high-impact but affordable videos. Contact us today for more information.